It is so decided. The Security Council will now begin its consideration. On Tuesday, the Assad regime launched yet another chemical attack on civilians, murdering innocent men, women, and children in the most gruesome way. Assad did this because he thought he could get away with it. He thought he could get away with it because he knew Russia would have his back. That changed last night. As I warned on Wednesday, when the international community consistently fails in its duty to act collectively, there are times when states are compelled to take their own action. The indiscriminate use of chemical weapons against innocent civilians is one of those times. The United States will not stand by when chemical weapons are used. It is in our vital national security interest to prevent the spread and use of chemical weapons. Our military destroyed the airfield from which this week's chemical strike took place. We were fully justified in doing so. Further delay by compromising with Russia for a watered-down resolution would have only strengthened Assad. Strengthening Assad will only lead to more murders. We were not going to allow that. The United States will no longer wait for Assad to use chemical weapons without any consequences. Those days are over.